Hey guys, well in today's video we're, I'm going to show you a custom screen I did for a gentleman in the UK. Now this gentleman was following Haas machine plans for the X2 conversion and he wanted us do a 16 tool carousel uh, just like the one Haas did in his plans. Now those of you who are familiar with HaasMachine.info will know that Haas pretty much pioneered the CNC conversion for the X2 Mini Mill and took it to extremes. He also converted a G0704, one of the first to do that. And he's posted a lot of information on YouTube as well as the CNC Zone. And he's very well known in the CNC hobbyist world. So this gentleman purchased Haas plans and created, uh, followed his plans to convert his X2, but he wanted to be able to use any tool number in any slot for his tool change carousel. So he contacted me and wanted a custom screen. So here's what I came up with. Now Haas used a stepper motor to rotate the carousel as well as an arm and a stepper motor to swing it into the tool change position. Uh, this was how he was able to utilize such a large carousel. And so basically we're going to be doing the same thing here. We just incorporated into one of my screens. So here we have my basic setup screen. Uh, the B position to clear and the B position to load the carousel. We have our Z load plane, our Z clearance plane, the built-in delay, uh, and the feed rate of the tool change. So once you get that information put in, you're pretty much set up for the tool change. Uh, here is the tool change screen. Now this presented a couple of issues. We needed to know when the carousel was in position and when it was also clear so I had to add a few inputs we have one input here to let you know that the carousel is in position for a tool change and this input to let us know that it is clear he wanted to have a low air input so we have an input here implemented this into the macro it goes out and makes sure that the air pressure is sufficient for a tool change otherwise it will fault out so if your air is not sufficient enough you will get this fault saying that you have low air pressure however if the air air pressure is sufficient we can click on one of these buttons to load the tool it says the air pressure is okay now we have to make sure that the rack is rotated out we're going to go to position 16 to drop off tool 16. We're lifting up. We're now rotating position 1 to pick up tool 1. We've clamped. The B axis has rotated back to a clear position and our tool change is now complete. So you can see it works very easy. Uh, any one of these positions you can simply manually load this tool by just pressing the button. So if we want to load tool 88 we can click on 8 here. We're going to drop off tool 1. You can see that our B axis did not rotate out in a sufficient amount of time. So we're going to get a fault. Uh, if we clear the fault it'll try again and as you can see we got our input so we're good we've released the tool we're now going to rotate to position number eight and then now the carousel is clear and so we can complete our tool change so you can see we have built-in faults to make sure that everything is clear before we continue on running g-code but there you have it just a simple custom screen for a 16 tool rotary ATC utilizing Haas machine plans. 
which allows you to use any tool number in any position. If you have a custom screen uh, for your particular build, maybe it's just adding a logo or maybe you would like to have some on-screen inputs, some of your accessories. For your particular build, you can contact me through the website at www.cncforxr7.com. Thanks guys for watching the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the videos. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.